And welcome everyone to an NCAA.com March Madness Skype session. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Sam Merrill from Utah State. Hits the three-pointer, scores 27 points. And Utah State knocks off San Diego State to win the Mountain West Conference Championship. Get that automatic qualifier out of the Mountain West into the NCAA Tournament. Uh, Sam, a couple things here. First off, your overall emotion here. You know, it's been some time since you hit that shot because you guys are hanging out in the arena. You've let it settle in. What's it feel like? I, I'm still not sure that it has settled in, but uh, just uh, so much joy. You know, last year we made the tournament, obviously, and uh, it, it felt like the perfect season last year. No one expected this to be very good. This year we had all the expectations, um, preseason top 25, and there were some ups and downs this year. And, uh, you know, we were on the bubble these last couple of weeks, and we felt like – these last three games here in the tournament were must-win games, so to be able to uh, find a way to win this game against just a, a great San Diego State team, I still it's pretty surreal. I still haven't, still haven't sunk in yet. All right, so a couple things. Let's first deal with the shot. Uh, clearly, if, if the game's on the line on this Utah State team, everyone knows you're the person to take that shot. So, mm -hmm. first off, why do you want to be in that moment? I just feel confident. I think... Um, we, we've, for the first time starting in our quarterfinal game against New Mexico, we started just going 1-4 flat and just, just letting me go one-on-one. -on -one. Coach Smith is a huge one-on-one -on -one guy, and we're usually at our best when we're moving the ball and, and sharing the ball, but uh, he just let me go to work, and I hit some shots in the quarterfinal game and I hit some shots in that same situation in the, in the semifinal game. So when we got that stop, uh, I think Malachi Flynn missed the shots with 20 seconds left. Um, I just wanted Coach Smith to let me go to work, and I spent all night, you know, it's, it's a quick turnaround because we played our game at 8.30 last night, and then had to play at 2.30 today, so I hardly slept and was just hoping that I'd get that opportunity, and fortunately the shot went down. I mean, how much space do you even need at this point in your career to get off a shot like that? Not a ton, just because I'm usually taller than the guys that are guarding me. Um, I feel like I shoot the ball, have a very high release point, so... Um, didn't need it. There was not hardly any space at all. Um, KJ guarded that about as good as he probably could have, but, um, I don't really feel like I need, everyone knows I'm not super athletic, so I don't, I don't feel like I need to be athletic because I can shoot it over anybody and can create just enough space. You know, you, you kind of reference it has not been an easy year. You guys had a ton of injuries this year. Uh, mm -hmm. lost time, especially with Kata being out for quite some time, lost some games in the league that I think you were surprised you did fall. How much pressure was there on the on this team on you because of the expectation in the preseason to win the league, for you to be the player of the year, uh, and, and to sort of rubber stamp, hey, they're getting back, they're going to win it again? Yeah, I'm not sure that we felt too much pressure um, as far as living up to expectations. But when we lost three out of four in early January to start league play, we actually started three and four in league play. Um, the NCAA tournament seemed like almost seemed like a long shot at that point. So that was when we felt like our season turned around, but we also felt that pressure and that that urgency and that desire to, to, to fix what we were and to get healthy and to, to get back to Aggie basketball and uh, start winning some games. And, and since then, we've been playing really well. When UNLV beat San Diego State, because San Diego State had swept you guys in the regular season, how much was that an indication that, you know what, they can be beat? Yeah, it's a, they're a, a fantastic team, and I know they're going to do some damage in the tournament for sure because they have all the right pieces. But, yeah, they lose to UNLV, um, and then their next couple of games were close as well. They had to come back against Colorado State. They had to come back in both tournament games against Air Force and Boise State. So we were confident, but if you're playing a team that's 30-1, you're going to have to play a really good game. And defensively, when you hold a team like that to 56 points, you're, you're doing the right things. All right, growing up, Sam, I, I got to believe this has been a moment you've thought of for a long time. To win a game like this on your hand, your shot, to earn an NCAA tournament berth. How often have you thought about a moment like this? I, I think it's it's what every basketball player dreams of. and um, That's when you're, when you're shooting as a kid and when you're working out. Um, you, you, you think about these moments and hopefully – you give yourself an opportunity, and I fortunately got that opportunity, and we had so many guys today step up and make plays, and um, I know I made the last shot, but that was 
that was a team win for sure because we had, you know, you're playing a team as good as San Diego State, you're going to have to be great as a team. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that shot went down for sure. All right, last thing, Sam. A little different. The Big Ten did this a couple years ago, a uh, week earlier for the tournament. So you're going to have a lot of time here. Uh, mm-hmm. How do you ensure that you guys aren't stale, that you're still ready to go, whether you're playing, uh, you know, what it would be almost a week from Thursday or a week from Friday. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there's going to be a long gap before you're back on the court. Yeah, there's definitely a concern with any teams that have this situation about Russ. But uh, I think one good thing for us is last year we won the tournament and it was just on a normal Saturday right before Selection Sunday. And um, I don't think we got the opportunity to clear our heads and just focus on the game. I think we were still so happy about what happened. So now we will have a couple of days to celebrate and then Wednesday or so, get back to practice, clear our heads, and just focus on the task at hand, which is um, winning a game or two in the tournament. Congratulations, Sam, on a marvelous season, a great shot. We'll be looking for you guys in the NCAA tournament. All right, thank you, Andy.